What is up, Dream Media family? This is Zach. We are out here at CDA 2022. I'm with Chris Deutsch from JVC. Hi, we're... Zach. Hey, thanks for having us. So we're going to give you guys a complete rundown on the current 2022 JVC projectors. Man, they are killing it in the game. I'm going to toss it off to Chris, and he's going to give you the rundown. Let's go! All right, guys, welcome back. Chris, let's get this party started. Let's do it. So we're gonna start out with our DLP projectors. We've got the LXNZ3, and we've got it in the white cabinet, and we've got it in the black cabinet. And this is our fantastic price point um, for 3,000 lumens, DLP technology with 4K E-Shift. Um, this has a nice zoom lens. This is a wide shift range, which improves the installation flexibility this has something called automatic tone mapping, so it can read the metadata, and based on that, it can fine tune the picture for 4K HDR. This is a great projector at a great value. Now, switching to what we're best known for, DILA. So this is the DLA RS1100. This is our 1900 lumen DILA projector. This is a full featured projector, but most importantly, picture quality. And there's two things that JVC talks about. We use DILA imaging chips. We have three of them inside this projector, one for the red, one for the green, one for the blue. But what DILA does that's different is better black level and better contrast. If you're watching a movie, any movie, there's daytime scenes, there's nighttime scenes. It's those nighttime scenes where JVC really, really shines. And where you see the detail, you see the contrast, you see things that no other projector can properly reproduce. He's not just saying that because he works for JVC. Nobody does it better than JVC. Thank you, Zach. <laughs> the other thing we have is dynamic tone mapping. We call it frame adapt HDR. So we measure that HDR signal. Usually we're talking 4K, HDR, we measure it either scene by scene or frame by frame. We know how to then adjust the picture so that every frame of video is perfect and this is done automatically in the background. So there's nothing that the customer has to do. We also have an automatic picture mode select. So if it's not HDR, we know that. We'll set the right SDR picture mode. If it's 3D, we know that. We'll put it into the right 3D picture mode. There's also a format called Hybrid Log Gamma. If it supports that, we switch to that automatically. And there's something called HDR10+, Plus, which is another kind of dynamic tone mapping. And again, automatically we will switch to that. This has a 2X motorized zoom, so this projector is ideal for customers that have ultra-wide screen. You can set up 10 installation modes for different aspect ratios. Uh, some people know this as a lens memory. We do the focus, the zoom, the shift, but we also do pixel alignment. We also do any settings you might be using for masking. We also do, if you choose to use an anamorphic lens, you don't have to, but you can. And, and that's part of the installation mode as well. So we completely automate the process of going from 16 by nine to ultra wide screen. That's the DLA RS 1100. This is a 1900 lumen lamp based projector. Don't worry about the fact that it's a lamp based projector. The lamp is rated for 4,500 hours in standard mode, 3,500 hours in high mode. When that lamp finally ages to the point where you want to replace it, you put in a brand new lamp and you're at full power. Now, if you decide you would like laser, we have a very similar projector over here. And this it just the, gets better, guys. It does. It just keeps getting better. So this is the DLA RS2100. Now, this is 2200 lumens. This is laser. This adds an 8K input. So let's talk about that. All of the DILA projectors have the newest HDMI specification and they can handle a signal up to 48 gigabits per second. That means we support 4K 120 on the DLA RS 1100 and here we support both 4K 120 and 8K at 60 frames per second. This also uses 8K E-Shift which doubles the uh, 
speed that the projector operates at. So for every frame of video, it flashes the screen twice. Uh, so you have 17 million effective pixels from that 8K signal. This is a fantastic projector. Next up, we go to the RS3100. This is- For the money, guys, this is a really good performer. Go to our channel and type in RS2100 demo, and you can see live in one of our customers' homes a demo and some of his thoughts. For the money, this is one of our best sellers right here. All right, sorry to I agree. cut you off. I agree. Now, the RS3100, lots of little improvements. Uh, we go to 8K E-Shift X. So remember I told you this flashes the screen twice for 8K. This flashes the screen four times, so you're getting 35 million pixels. This has our high contrast optical block. This goes to 2,500 lumens. This adds a second iris in the optical block for improved contrast. This adds the option of a uh, cinema filter for wider color gamut. So nice upgrades in resolution, brightness, contrast, and color with the RS3100. Then we go to the RS4100. The big bad boy. <laughs> we actually got to see this in the booth right here um, with their new firmware update. Guys, there's no better projector here at Cedia, which is why Thank one you. best in show. So this is our 3000 lumen laser projector. You can see it's also got a larger lens. That larger lens lets more light out from inside the projector to hit your screen. Uh, this is also our sharpest lens, our highest resolution. This has our most accurate mechanism. Remember we talked about lens memory with the installation modes for ultra wide and 16 by nine. This mechanism has four times the accuracy of this. And this is very good, but this is four times better. Okay, on top of that, this has a little wider shift range and a slightly different throw range you can get a little bit closer to the screen or you can get a little bit larger picture from the same distance with this projector. So um, better lens, 3000 lumens, and uh, we're using this in our demo with a 165 inch screen and it is stunning. I mean, now, it literally looks like an OLED TV, guys. Make sure to type in CDA 2822 JVC demo room and uh, you'll see the video that we made on it. I mean, it's mind blowing. Now you mentioned <laughs> firmware update. Yes, talk about that a little bit. So Chris. let's talk about, so on all four of the DILA projectors, we have a firmware update. So um, JVC has quite a history of this and every customer that you've already sold one of these to over the last, you know, 10 months. It's unbelievable. Time, they're gonna get a do. better picture for free. For free <laughs> in November. Okay, and so the first thing we're doing is we're adding filmmaker mode. Filmmaker mode is for 4K HDR, it's also for SDR. The idea is it's a simple preset that gives you as close to the director's intent as we possibly can. What some people don't know is that uh, the filmmaker mode works in conjunction with our frame adapt HDR. So you like, for example, you will still see the menu setting to choose between scene by scene and frame by frame dynamic tone mapping. The tone mapping is coming from our frame adapt HDR, but it's being used in conjunction with the filmmaker mode. We've also listened to customer feedback. People said they want the option for even a little brighter picture with HDR. So we've added an auto wide mode for the frame adapt HDR. But if you like the mode the way, if you like your projector the way it is, that original mode is still there. That's the auto mode. But now we've got auto wide. Okay, and dynamic dimming. So we can make that laser, we can regulate the brightness of the laser to improve our contrast. Um, again, we got some feedback. People wanted a little different approach on dimming, and so we've added that. So we didn't get rid of anything. If you like the way your projector works now, it's still gonna work that way. But this is one thing I just love about JVC is over the years, we've constantly been able to sell these projectors to you guys. And then out of nowhere, you just make it better and better and better. Just staying one step ahead of the competition, yeah. making our customers investment well yeah. worth it. I mean, it's, it's amazing. It's something that not a lot of companies do. Exactly. So, so now 
you've got a third dimming mode to preserve more of the highlights and still give you the complete fade to black. Um, also going back to Frame Adapt HDR, we used to just have one memory for Frame Adapt HDR. Now we have three, plus we got this uh, Filmmaker mode, which is also HDR, so really four HDR presets. So maybe you want to watch the NFL in 4K HDR, but you're going to have some lights on in the room. That's one preset. Maybe you want to watch movies, nighttime, lights out, whatever. That's a different preset. So now you can set that up if you would like to as well. So, and there's a bunch of other smaller improvements. I, I keep hitting my name tag. There's a bunch of other smaller improvements and uh, uh, there you go. And no charge to the customer. Does it get any better than that? <laughs> All right guys, we'll put a quick little demo of what we made a full video on here in this other room so you guys can kind of get an idea of how stunning this projector looks on a 165 inch Stewart Studio Tech 130. Um, I hope you guys enjoy that demo. If you guys would like to purchase anything home theater related, make sure to reach out and show your support. My specialists are ready to do a consultation with you where we FaceTime, Zoom, walk through your entire space, and we tailor a package to fit your exact needs and budget. All right, guys, if you like this video, give me a big thumbs up and make sure to smash that subscribe button down below. Till next time, this is Zach with Dream Media out here with Chris with JVC at CDA you, 2022. We'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Yeah. Uh, uh.